I think when people ask that question, and I'll hear some of the times, well, how did we come up with a COVID-19 vaccine so quickly? And we've been dealing with HIV for 40 years, and we ain't got nothing for that yet. It's true. And so I want people to understand that that's a logical question. That's not a conspiracy theory. That's a normal response. Like, if you've known about this virus, you've been studying it. We have all these medications that can treat it. Why don't we have a curative vaccine yet? The response I would tell people who have those concerns are, one, HIV is a retrovirus. It works in an entirely different way in replicating and using the body to produce more copies of itself than the SARS-CoV-2 virus does. So that's the first thing. Second of all, what happened with COVID-19 is that things got so hectic so quickly, so many people getting exposed, so many people getting hospitalized, so many people dying, that the research and scientific community had to move things and mobilize resources from the studies that were focused on HIV and other viruses into the COVID-19 pandemic, just because it was happening so quick at the time. It was more urgent at that time. And so I think on the outside looking in, you can look at it and say, well, God, that came up quickly. Why aren't we focusing on these other things? So I would say, one, the virus is different. Two, we actually have been working on vaccines for HIV and making a lot of progress with vaccines, better medications, uh, injectable treatments for HIV that only require someone uh, living with HIV getting uh, a shot once a month. All those things are happening. So I'm confident that at some point we will. But I think what we've learned from this uh, pandemic is that one, we have been able to mobilize the resources. Two, we've been able to actually combine public health, federal infrastructure with private donations, with private resources, with private funding. And then what happens is you can move things quickly.